Right, another update. Um, I'm casting my bobbin right now. I stuck a magnet on as a weight. It's kind of handy because uh, I can use another magnet to lift it out of the way without disturbing anything. But uh, basically, I used uh, a syringe. I used a syringe to inject the resin into the very bottom. And as I was doing that, I was squeezing the mould to get all the air out uh, to rock it side to side such and such and I also had to then squeeze a bit more resin in because I could see big bubbles coming up and anyway I basically uh, I'd previously put water in here so I knew exactly how much water would go in there which was six millilitres so I calculated it would be exactly six millilitres so I put 6.5 millilitres in the syringe, in here. And when I got to 6.5 millilitres, I had overspill, which tells me 0.5 millilitres overspilled. So, basically, um, I think I got it all in, and I don't think there's any air bubbles. But anyway, we're waiting for it to harden now. Um, it's still very very liquid at the moment so I'm gonna to have to leave it quite a while now but to hand I put a piece of plastic over the top so I get a nice straight top so the the top of the bobbin will be flush with the mold which is obviously what I need because that's what the way the original one was in done uh, anyway so I'll let that harden and I might have to mop this up if it over spills anymore I don't need to go on my mat. Anyway, <laughs> pause for now. <laughs> well, it's starting to gel. I've been waiting like forever. It must be. You know, let's see. Let's give it a poke on the side here. It's just starting to gel. You can tell because it's um, it's not. It's not going completely liquefied again. So we are waiting, waiting. Seems like forever. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting for like 30 minutes, I think. Mind you, I should have put a bit more hardener in, I think, but never mind. I was a bit worried actually when I was squeezing it, because when you use the syringe to put it in there, um, compression can actually make it go off as well. And I was a bit worried about the pressure. Well, I shouldn't have been really because, um, yeah, because it was just resin. There was no magnetite or anything in this. It was just pure resin, so it came out fairly easy. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully in about another 30 minutes it will be hard enough to take out. <laughs> oh, not my little thing. Oh, get that straight. I just. I put a magnet on top as a weight, really, just to keep the pressure, a little bit of pressure on the top there to keep it dead flat. So it's actually sitting on that centre pillar and keeping the plastic pressed down. Right, well, we'll come back in a while and hopefully it will be hardened. Well, I've got the... Uh yeah, I, I actually had a, a small void in there because I, when I squeezed it, I could feel an empty pocket. So I had to stick my syringe through the rubber and inject some more resin in there. Well, it, that caused it to bulge a little bit at the bottom, but, <clears throat> well, we should be all right. Anyway, it's hardened, so I had a bit more hardener in. So I'm just taking the sellotape off now. I'm going to see if we can get this out. <laughs> I'll see if I can pop my camera up somewhere. Right, um, I'm hoping that the camera will stay. Well, let's see if I've got this in. Right, it might fall. The camera might fall, but... Oh, I've got this looking... Yeah, blocking the lens. Um, right, okay, let's see if this works. Let's have a tip off. I got some protrusions where some of the resin had come through. I can feel it there. There's obviously some, where the air pockets are in the hole. 
So I'm going to have to be very careful I don't turn my eyes to look at um, Well, even if we just get one bobbing out of here, it will be something. Now, where I split it before, I'm going to have to separate it in that same place. And hopefully, hopefully it will come apart easily. That's, uh, but this particular bobbin that I made, this design, this mold on me, um, <coughs> I'm not that happy with it. I'll probably make another one. But I'm going to have to use a blunt object to ease this a bit because it's too started. I don't know actually, am I on the camera? Maybe I need to be over here, right, so X max. Well, there's no point in me drawing an X. <laughs> camera might move, phone might move. Um, if I can, it's tricky doing, getting it started, getting it, getting it to, it's not sticking really hard to the the resin. It's the way it's keyed in. It's it's very hard to get it to uh, start. Oh, let me just stop that racket in the background because it's it's distracting me. Ah, oh, this what a job! Right. Okay. So basically. I have to put my screwdriver in there and I know it's coming now. I have to ease it from. It's coming. Now do the other side. Ah, here we go. Now, I expect to be some deformities in there because, as I said, there was a void. And I actually have to stick some more silicon in. Oh, it's work, it's work, but it's uh, Yeah, you're you're privileged to actually witness the the unbirthing of my first resin cast in silicon bobbin. Just bit bobbin. Oh there's some bubbles in it. Oh my god, some but uh, those bubbles, I I think I can live with them because the main structures seems to be there. I'm going to have to try and... Oh, now they're getting the middle cut out. This is going to be tricky. Get my pen. I'm just going to have to pull that very gently. Wiggle it. There we go. Out! Oh, yeah! Hey, that's not so bad. Uh, it's better than I thought it would be. I mean, this was a huge challenge, but that is a functional bobbin, even though it doesn't look pretty. I mean, I've got a bubble. Um, I have an air pocket right here. There's a big old void hole, but that's little, that's 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 not a big issue. The it, the, the the rim's intact. There's just a hole going through from one side to the other, but that's no biggie. I'm actually kind of um, surprised that it came out even this well. But the, you can see the voids because there's some little nobbles sticking up where there's some imperfections in the mold. I can file those off. I can file those off easily enough. But yeah, I, I honestly do think I would have to, I'm going to need to make another, another mold that's a bit better. But it's, it's still very sticky. Anyway, let's just get this close up if I can see. That's not bad. The first do it split bobbing attempt. Let's see how the mold has um, survived. Well, it's uh, it's still in good shape. I could still do another one, but as I say, I'm not happy about that little little hole down here. I mean, looking.
looking at my actual casting now, I can see where there are some imperfections. And let's line this up. This is obviously the top. That's where it was. So there's a hole in the second one down, right about here somewhere. Ah. I can't actually see it in there. It was just an air bubble by the looks of it. Yeah. Um, I wonder, I'll turn this back and turn this inside. There are some little holes on the edges. Those are an issue. Those are a bit of a problem. Oh, so might when I think it's burning for some reason. I'll see if I can turn this inside out without destroying it. I don't know if I can or not. Oh, right, okay. I've got it inside out. Yeah, there's some, um, right, yeah, there's some, there's some tears here. There's a bit there where the resin went through. Yeah, that, oh, yeah, there's some big pockets there. Now, if I can repair those, that's where I was having the problem with the, um, yeah, I know I better put it back as it will disintegrate if I leave it inside out too long. Another thing I could do, obviously, is to um, put some more. Uh, it's probably better if it's just making another mould, actually. But anyway, um, yeah, so if I get my file. Um, That's come off quite quick. There's a big, big lump on there. I need a, a coarse side. I'm going to have to do this on my mat. The camera's going to slip, I bet. Yeah, there's a. Try and do it gently because. Yeah, actually, my craft knife, I've got enough, it's soft enough to trim off with a knife, but let's just see. Because it's quite a big bobbly bit. I don't know if I'm getting it on my knife. The file is a bit slow. Oh, that's it, there we go. Come off. If I can do it with a knife, it's a lot easier than filing. But it could break a big chunk off if I'm not careful. Get those. Yeah, that's not too bad. I don't know if that they got on there afterwards. There was some, uh, some fairly big. lumps from somewhere, but I don't know if they came out the mold themselves or not. I mean, when I refilled it, I, when there was a void before at the bottom, it was actually right, um, down here there was a, there was a part that was missing. And I actually injected a bit more, and I seem to have caught that as well. I seem to have got it. And it must have been that that caused the those little extra bits. But that's a usable that's a usable bobbin. So all is not lost. <laughs> and it don't have to be that pretty as long as the tops and the bottoms look nice because. Obviously, once you wind the wire on there, um, well, basically, 
like the uh, PLA bobbin, the original PLA bobbin. Obviously, once the coils are on there, you don't see the inside. It's not doesn't have to be extremely high voltage insulation anyway. But the top's good, the bottom's good. So it's workable. I mean, I'm, I've run nearly out of silicon at the moment, silicon moulding material at the moment. So I mean, if I can get away with at least getting a let's say another two bobbins out there, probably that's all probably I need for this particular project really because these split bobbins I'm actually only using about two anyway. So the rest of them is the is the third bobbins, the other ones. The uh triangle shape ones. So those are the ones I need to make more of. No actually I only need two of those as well. Yeah, two of those. You see, these are, these split bobbins are going to be mainly used for the um, trigger circuit, or sorry, circuit. Um, yeah, well, it's still a bit sticky, so I'm going to put this in the sun because it's sunny right now. The sun is shining, and the sun will. And then I can go over it with a fire later now. I've got the big lumpy bits off that oh there's another one there. There's another one here. That'll do. I'm gonna cut my finger. Yeah, I'm going to put you in the sun, my friend. And let you have a bit of sunbathing. <laughs> Thank you for watching.